first ever womanhood and culture celebration as we salute women this year and all of the great works they are doing in the South Carolina community. Good evening, as Donna said, my name is Janine Bashir, and it's an honor to be here. Um, tonight, I've been coming to this retreat for the last three years, and really excited about um, everything I've seen and how we've empowered women through this work. Um, tonight, I have the honor of introducing the recipient of the Stellar Leadership Award, Dr. Vanessa Reich, who serves as the director of NASA's Johnson Space Center, which is home to America's astronaut corps, Mission Control Center, the International Space Station, the Orion and Gateway programs, and more than 11,000 civil service contract employees. She is responsible for a broad range of human space flight activities, including the development and the operation of human space craft, NASA astronaut selection and training, mission control, and much more. So think about that. She sends people to space. Yes. Recently, she was elected to the National Academy of Engineering, one of the highest professional distinctions of according to an engineer. Um, Dr. Reich is a native of South Carolina and is a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Under Dr. Reich's leadership, the Johnson Space Center was um, re recognized by Forbes and Statista as the number one best employer amongst Texas major employers. Dr. Weich earned a bachelor's degree, a bachelor's of science in engineering, and a master's of science in bioengineering from Clemens University. She was inducted into the Thomas Green Clemenson Academy of Engineers and Scientists at Clemenson University in 2019 and received an honorary doctor of science degree from Coastal Carolina University in 2022. She is also a wife and a mother. She is married to George Weich, Jr. Esquire, and they have one son. Dr. Weich couldn't be with us tonight. Um, we have the honor of having her sister, Dr. Willingham, um, another distinguished woman in our community, accept the award on her behalf. So here she is. And accept on her behalf, Dr. Willingham. Bring your lights back up. Mm -hmm. And then she rose. It's all that my sister was telling me about. Get yourself in there. And she appreciates this from the bottom of her of her heart. And so did this family. Thank you so much. Our next award, our Living History Award, it's being presented by Charleston's own radio personality, Lori L. J. Johnson, who has been in media here in the area almost 20 years. She hosts a midday show called Love and Joy. Let's please give a warm welcome for Lori L. J. Johnson. So I'll just read her bio right now. Louise Miller Cohen is a native of Hilton Head Island and therefore has experienced the Gullah culture firsthand. 
her latest role in preserving this unique culture, which she has been doing for the past 17 years, is that of a storyteller. How many of you love stories? Don't we all? Community elders have passed the torch on to her, and she has adopted the mission mm -hmm. of preserving mm -hmm. the Gullah Geechee heritage and culture. Ms. Cohen accomplishes this by telling tales, singing gospel songs, proudly speaking and teaching the Gullah language, sharing knowledge of plants used for medicine, I know we know about that life everlasting, right? Yeah. Preparing Gullah cuisine, performing the ring shop, Ooh and making homemade wine from mulberries and other seasonal fruits. She believes that as these rituals are performed in the presence of children and their parents, the rituals will be passed down from generation to generation and the Gullah Geechee culture will be preserved forever. Isn't that important? So very important. She founded and is the executive director of the nonprofit Gullah Museum of Hilton Head Island, which gives children of all ages, locals and tourists, the experience of what life was like on Hilton Head Island before the bridge to the mainland was built in 1956. Years ago, Ms. Cohen said that she kept reading that the Gullah language and lifestyle were becoming extinct. Her entry into Gullah storytelling and historical preservation started with her involvement in Hilton Head Island's annual Gullah celebration. Ms. Cohen stepped out on what she calls her shell of shame and began to share her Gullah culture with others. Since that time, she's organized committees and appeared at the Hilton Head Island Gullah celebration sponsored annually on the island by the Native Island Business and Community Affairs Association, the Arts Center of Coastal Carolina, numerous church and school nominations from the Civitas Award Organization. And in January 2010, she received the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Community Service Award at the town of Hilton Head Island's annual Martin Luther King Day celebration. In 2007, she was appointed a South Carolina Commissioner to the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor Commission. In 2012, Ms. Cohen was also a co-recipient of a prestigious award for preservation from the National Trust for Historic Preservation for the Restoration of the GMHHI's Dewey's Home, also known as the Little House. In March of 2017, she received a mayoral commendation from the town of Hilton Head for preserving the indigenous culture, coastal culture for future generations. In February of 2018, the Native Island Community Affairs Award for Preservation of the Gullah Culture. In June of 2018, the Bluffton MLK Observance Committee awarded Dr. Cohen with the Preservation Award in a ceremony at the Hayward House. Over the past two and a half decades, she was featured in many TV and radio shows and in magazines and newspaper articles as well as the South Carolina African American History Calendar in 2018. Dr. Cohen and her board worked tirelessly with funding from the Accommodations Tax Grant awarded by the town of Hilton Head Island, donations and other sources of income to implement programs that benefit the community including the free summer cultural enrichment camp offered annually to teach approximately 25 children ages 6 through 12 about their culture, including drumming, basket weaving, jewelry making, and cooking Gullah style, like we just had tonight. <laughs> Each camp participate, they learned about how water was drawn from the hand pump. Ooh, that goes back. The purpose of the back told to bring bounty from the creeks and how the plum trees bore fruit. In 2021, the town of Hilton Head Island's Art and Cultural Affairs curated and put on permanent exhibit colorful large-scale artworks at the Gullah Museum, which brought attention to the museum site. In addition, Great Dane, a national truck manufacturing company based in Savannah, was informed about the silver trailer, and it was discovered that the trailer on the Gullah Museum was made in 1947, 
and is one of two that remains today in the entire country. The company restored parts of the trailer and funded a mural and signage to honor the history of this trailer. In 2023, Dr. Cohen and her board have been working on a renovation project for the two migrant houses and the silver trailer, which will allow visitors a greater learning experience about these very important original structures. The exhibit opened on July 1st of this year. University at the University of Beaufort, she received an honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters from the University of South Carolina in 2016 from Dr. Al M. Panu, Chancellor. She was a teaching artist with the Low Country Arts Integration Project at Whale Branch Middle School, Whale Branch Elementary School, and St. Helena Elementary School. She's also made numerous presentations to thousands of school children, both at the museum and at area independent and public schools. In 2014, Louise Cohen served as the primary consultant and was also featured in the award-winning documentary, Hilton Head Island back in the day, through the eyes of the Gullah elders. And she has lectured about the Gullah history of Hilton Head Island at numerous screenings with educational and cultural organizations. She is in the process of writing an autobiography, which also will include information about Gullah traditions and rituals. Ms. Cohen is the mother of four children, grandmother of five, and great-grandmother of five. She enjoys gardening, singing, walking, and cooking traditional Gullah recipes. Help me welcome and honor this woman, the Honorable Dr. Louise Miller. That's right, amen. Amen. I'm only here by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. This is a calling on my life. Yes. Didn't know it at the time. As they talk about the government, uh, the, the, the Hilton Head um, Island government teaching cultural heritage, and as they talk about NIPCA, Native Island Business and Community Affairs, who started the Gullah celebration back in 1996, mm -hmm. when we was ashamed to be Gullah. Mm -hmm. We was ashamed of the language. Yep. And I can remember um, the coordinator working with us, it was probably about five or six or seven maybe elders, and I was one of the younger ones in the group, when the coordinator asked, do y'all know anybody that speak the Gullah Geechee language? Well, she was talking to Gullah Geechee people right. who didn't answer her but look all on the floor That's and everywhere else. That's what you told me. Did not answer her. That's what you so told me. So she went to one of the other, one of our sister islands mm -hmm. and found the lady, found a sister who wasn't ashamed, mm -hmm. brought her to us mm -hmm. to speak on. Sure did. I'll never forget when she entered the room that day, she was dressed like the big mom. Mm -hmm. She had a long dress on, mm -hmm. a long apron on. Mm -hmm. You know, big woman must be keeping an apron, right? Mm -hmm. She had an African wrap around her head, and she had a basket full of cotton on her head. Yes, ma'am. And when she entered the door, she said, hey, hallelujah. Any when she said that, I don't know what happened to the other people who were sitting around that table with me, huh. but I can tell you what happened to me. Uh -huh. God 
touch me right in the mm -hmm. middle of my heart. Mm -hmm. And he said, Louise, you have to do it. Mm -hmm. I thank God for having that person here tonight. That's my quite a good wine. Queen Queen. Yes, ma'am. And God loves us. So I, I call her the trailblazer. See, always God always call her. She always say that. The trailblazer. She so always I say thank that. God for having her here tonight. Thank you, ma'am. And my sisters, for what you're doing, recognizing your people. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I say about that. And I'm just kind of reaping what I saw tonight because um, <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the Gullah Museum on Hilton Head Island, that's the first thing we did. I started honoring my people. Right. Who did so much that other people didn't know about. That's true. Okay? So um, I, I, I honor you and I thank you so very much for what you do. It Because like I always say, if you don't do it, if we don't do it, who's going to do, gonna it? do it? Who's That's gonna right. Do it? So sister, God bless you for doing what you're doing. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Yes. God bless you. Yes. Our next award is our Legacy Guardian Award, which is being presented by another one of Charleston's very own, Miss Belinda B.P. Parker, affectionately known as B.P. She has been in the media career with over a span of 25 years. She often jokes that she's had almost every job in radio. Can we give a warm welcome to Belinda B.P. Parker? Good evening, beautiful souls. I have enjoyed myself tremendously. How about you? Yes, indeed. I want to thank the organizers for putting together such a wonderful event tonight. It is such an honor to be able to talk about this young lady here who's going to be winning the Legacy Guardian Award. Our sister Louise just talked about her briefly, but the Legacy Award tonight will be going to Queen Quint, Marquetta Goodwine. I'm gonna share a little bit of information about Queen Quint. She is a published author, a computer scientist, lecturer, mathematician, historian, columnist, preservationist, environmental justice advocate. She's a film consultant and the artivist. She is the founder of the premier advocacy organization for the continuation of the Gullah Geechee culture, the Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition. Queen Gwen has not only provided histo musical presentations throughout the world, but was also the first Gullah Geechee person to speak on behalf of her people before the United Nations in Genevieve, Switzerland. Queen Gwen was one of the first of seven inductees in the Gullah Geechee Nation Hall of Fame. She received the Anointed Spirit Award for her leadership and for being a visionary. In 2008, she was recorded at the UNESCO headquarters in Paris, France at a United Nations conference in order to have the human rights story of the Gullah Geechee people archived for the United Nations. In 2009, she was invited by the Office of the High Commissioner of the United Nations to come and present before the newly founded Minority Forum as a representative of the Gullah Geechee Nation and the International Human Rights Association for American Minorities, which as an NGO in consultant status with the United Nations. Queen Quinn is a director, member of HIHRAAM, and for the International Commission on Human Rights. She represented these bodies and the Gullah Geechee Nation at the United Nations Forum on Minority Rights. She has also represented the Gullah Geechee Nation at the UN's Conference of Parties in Morocco. She returned to the UN for the Oceans Conference in 2017, and in 2018, she represented her people at the Global Climate Action Summit. Due to Queen Quip advancing the ideas of keeping the Gullah Geechee culture alive, the Gullah Geechee Sea Island Coalition, under her leadership, has worked with the US Congressman James Clyburn to ensure that the United States Congress would work to assist the Gullah Geechees. Queen Quet then acted as a community leader to work with the United States National Park Service 
the nation for the special resource study of the low country Gullah culture. Due to the fact that the Gullah Geechee's were to become recognized as one people, Queen Quint wanted to ensure that the future Congressional Act would reflect in the name and form. And as a result, in 2006, the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Act was passed by the United States Congress and signed into law by the President. Queen Quinn has vetted with the U.S. White House as an expert commissioner in the Department of Interior. As an expert, expert commissioner, she was also the chair of the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor General Management Plan. Queen Quinn has served as a member of the National Park Relevancy Environment and to ensure that diverse groups of people engage in the outdoors and the policies governing them. Queen Quet has engaged in several White House conferences on this issue, and she has even been a part of the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Marrakesh, Morocco, and the COP25 in Madrid, Spain. She has spoken at the United Nations Ocean Action Summit in Korea. Queen Quet's global journeys are presented in a weekly, weekly broadcast on the Gullah Geechee TV. She has appeared and consulted for over a dozen films that range from full-length action films to historic documentaries. She was the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Consultant for the award-winning WGN TV show called Underground. She did similar behind-the-scenes work for feature film The Patriot. Queen Quet has appeared in numerous documentaries. She has been interviewed by national and international media from television, radio, as well as print. She has been seen and heard on programs in Australia, China, Germany, Mexico, the Bahamas, Canada, England, Ecuador, and different countries in Africa. She is also the hostess of the Gullah Geechee News and the Gullah Geechee Rhythm Radio. In September 2010, she spoke before a full house and received a nine minute long standing ovation at the United States National Press Club in Washington, D.C. after she educated the crowd on the language and continuing traditions of the Gullah Geechee Nation. Queen Quinn has won numerous awards for being a woman of distinction for her scholarship, her writings, her artistic presentation, activism, cultural continuation, and environmental preservation. She has won and been chosen as a Together Green Fellow. Toyota and the Audubon conducted a national search and they chose Queen Quint to be a part of this network of environmental conservatives. And as a result, she created an ongoing program for saving environmental actions where ME stands for Marine Environment and the C stands for Saving Environmental Actions. This program focuses on intergenerational engagement in learning the Gullah Geechee traditions that are beneficial to the Sea Island environment and promotes engagement in citizens' science activities. She has received accolades all over the world. She has also received the Preserving Our Places in History Lifetime Achievement Award and many Queen Quet days throughout the state. In 2018, the South Carolina Coalition for Voters Participation honored her with the Reverend Dr. B.J. Whipper Community Service Award for her tireless community service and for her spiritual, economic, and political contributions to her home state. In 2020, the Bluffton Hilton Head MLK Award was also given to her, and that award was followed by the Georgia Environmental Educators presenting Queen Quet with the Non-Traditional Environmental Educators Award, and in the American Society of Adaptation, professionals presenting Queen Quet with the Regional Adaptation Leadership Award in 2020. In 2021, Governor Henry McMaster Presented, presented Queen Quet with the highest honor given to a citizen in South Carolina. Queen has received the Order of the Palmetto Award for the work that she has done for her home state and especially in protecting and continuing the Gullah Geechee culture. Queen Quet was selected, elected, and installed by her people 
to be the first Queen Mother. She is the official spokesperson for the Gullah Geechee Nation, and as a result, she is respectably referred to as Queen Quint, Chiefess, and Head of State for the Gullah Geechee Nation. When I was asked to present this award on her behalf tonight, I jumped at the opportunity. She doesn't know this, but a few years ago when I first met her, we were at an event in North Charleston. That morning, I had received a phone call that one of my coworkers had passed away in her sleep at the age of 49. My countenance was low, and I, was, I, I just didn't think I would be able to go on. I met this beautiful queen, she gave me a hug, and as you can see, she doesn't have a problem getting that energy on. She is my party starter, that's what I call her. So, it is my honor to be able to bring her to the stage, and she will be presented tonight with the Legacy Guardian Award. Will everyone please put your hands together for the one and only, Miss Queen Quit. You did it. 
So she to honor me, but we to honor her. Yeah. But you want to do But who knows the job ain't easy to be? Okay? The work with a bunch of on? I know what the job is. Okay then. Y'all want to know. Okay then. The sweetest man is that we go on. Okay. So I'm so glad it could be in the season of all on until anything like that. Like what he did for Dunya and Dingy. Y'all have never yet it before. Believe me, I can speak your language as well. So we want to thank all of you ladies who made this possible and who have supported Sister Akila over all these years from the then the sun rose retreat. And the sun is high now. And we all have to know that we gotta work while it is day. Because the sun ain't necessarily gonna stay high. So when it sets for the final time, may somebody remember what you did. And as we say, may the work I've done Speak for me. Yes. May somebody pour libation in my arm. Oh, and somebody say, I oh, So I thank y'all this evening. And I'm going to clear this dance floor. <laughs> but that's a war. So I can really scuff up this floor yeah. more and more before I go back down and say, Tell them. Oh, yeah. But if I don't get this stuff, I'm up, y'all scuff them up for me. Yeah. Yeah. But now I love to do is dance, as Sister BP told you. Because believe me, there's enough things in this life to try to take your dance and your song from you. Don't, as Jane Brown said, don't let them do it! <laughs> All right? Keep dancing, keep singing, keep loving, and let the sun be wherever you step in the room. God bless y'all, black folks. Keep shining. Love you. Baby, you can dance your the tail off. <laughs> so wait, you must stay for the part. <laughs> well, see now, y'all put me up in a, in a hotel up here on that, because otherwise, you know, if y'all got a limo gonna take me back two hours, I'll stay all night. I'll stay all night. <laughs> <laughs> I DJ, he DJ, he can rest, we got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> our final award for this evening, our final award, will be presented by Angela Yah Hillary. Yah, as she is affectionately known, has an NA in urban ministry with a concentration in psychotherapy and theological perspective. She serves as an herbalist and a health and awareness coach. She has been to every retreat, bringing that to a grand total of seven. And she is a part of our super senior club. Hey. Woo super seniors, why are you? the seniors. Let's give a warm welcome to none other than Yah. How's everybody doing this evening? Fabulous affair. Well, it is my honor to present to my big sister, Elder Carly Towns. Yes. Now, she has an extensive bio, and she's done many, many great things. But because she's my elder sister, I wish to make this one personal. I've had the joy of working with you. I have had the joy of sitting at your feet. I have had the joy 
of walking alongside you at every opening and having you be there for me at every closing. Yeah. She is the founder of the Jared House. She's the founder of many, many things. But one of the things that she does, and she does so well, is how she pours into each of the women. There has not been one retreat that you have joined us and that you didn't touch the women. We went to the water. You called forth the ancestors. We went to the water. You poured libation. There were sisters who did not know what libation was really about, but you did it anyway. You held us. You cried with us. You loved us. You put us in a circle, and then you still kept pouring and pouring. You were humble in how you did it. Yes. And yet, you stood so brightly, and you shined so powerfully. You showed us, one, what femininity is. Yes. Two, what womanhood yes. is. Three, what it is to be a goddess. Yes. Four, what it is to walk in our power. Yes. To love each other because we only had each other. Yes. This yes. what royalty looks yes. like. Yes. And it's time yes. to be mother, auntie, yes. sister. Yes. It is my pleasure yes. and my honor yes. to present this yes. award to you. Yes. Yes. Was here because they found it not robbery to be 
So Sister Akilah, thank you so much for forcing me to come on out there and come out my shell, but it was a great force. It was a force to be reckoned with, especially when I pulled the libation. I really appreciate everything that I have been through these seven, no, it wasn't seven years, maybe about four, five years, five years with these sisters. And I found new friends. And I want you all to know that you all are welcome. You are welcome. I am Minister of Information for the Gullah Geechee Nation. I sometimes forget that because I just want to do the work, you know. But I want you to know that we appreciate you all coming to the Gullah Geechee Nation and working with us and work together, continue to work together, children. Don't you get weird. And I always tell my young people this. You're not chilling. What about what? You're not secret, people. You're not rich with that God teach you. If people take you and lie about the one you're going to be, they crack your teeth. But you're in history. And Queen Quet and all of us, we do that quite well. Peace and blessings. I love you. Thank you so much.